Shuffling a deck of cards can be therapeutic sometimes, but have you ever stopped and realized what you're actually doing? Every time you shuffle a deck of cards, chances are that you have put them in an order that has never been seen in the history of the universe. The number of different ways a deck of cards can be arranged is 8.06582 times 10 to the 67th. Or to just put simply, 10 to the 68th power. That is 1 followed by 68 zeros. The number looks something like this. This number is called 52 factorial. To say that it is a large number is an understatement. It is difficult to illustrate the size of 52 factorial in terms of anything practical. People have talked about the number of drops in the ocean or how many grains of sand would fill the Grand Canyon. These numbers come nowhere close to 52 factorial. The number of atoms in the observable universe is estimated to be about 10 to the 80th power, which is a trillion times bigger than 52 factorial. But does this really help us to visualize what either of these numbers look like? Of course not. The universe is 4 times 10 to the 17th seconds old. If a random arrangement of cards were chosen each second during the entire life of the universe, only a tiny fraction of all possible orderings would be selected. So the chance of the same order being chosen twice is utterly small and insignificant. Think about that, man. Even if a billion arrangements were chosen every second since the beginning of the universe till now, there would still be no real chance of a duplicate. Now to give you an idea of the sheer size and magnitude of 52 factorial, get a timer and set it to 52 factorial seconds. Choose a spot on the equator and take one step every billion years. Once you have made it around the Earth, remove a single drop from the Pacific Ocean which holds a staggering 170 million cubic miles of water. Once you remove a single drop from that ocean, walk around the earth again. Continue doing the same thing over and over until the ocean is completely empty. And when it is, take one sheet of paper and place it flat on the ground. Now fill the ocean back up and start the entire process over again adding a sheet of paper to the stack each time you have emptied the ocean. Do this until the stack of paper reaches from the earth to the sun. And then take a look at the timer and see that you haven't even made a dent. You're not even halfway done counting down for 52 factorial seconds. That's just how freaking big that number is. It's crazy, but anyway, Hope you like this video. I know it's different than what I normally post, but I just wanted to show y'all some facts about playing cards that you probably didn't know. So if you want me to do more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. I would appreciate y'all's feedback on this particular video. Until then, I'll see y'all in the next one.